Okay, well, I think I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to do a commentary. Now, it's only on hard because, well, I suck at the game. But also because I don't want to be too panicked while I'm playing. Like, I'm not going to be a very effective commentator if I'm just, like, uh, you know, running around crazy, I don't panicking, trying not to die. At. So if I tone it down just a little bit, I can effectively share my thoughts, I guess. Whatever. I'm gonna play as Medic, because I, A, don't like this map because it's, it's ridiculously tight corners. And, but B, because Medic is a very forgiving class, it's probably one of the easiest to play. Most of them, at least on solo, I mean, yeah. In multiplayer, you're gonna have to stick with your team. You're gonna have to, like, you're gonna have to beg your team, or at least let them know that you need help. There's, I don't know. I guess there's not really a button for that. Quest healing, but it's about, it's about it. Traders right here. You know, for some strange reason, I always find it easier to make headshots when I'm not playing Gunslinger or Sharpshooter. I wish I could turn off the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the auto lock on the railgun, so I could actually see the sight. Perfect. Port is open again. Let's get you restocked. Yes, yeah, see that was pretty easy. Get yourself fixed up. You look terrible. Yeah, like I was now, saying. No, this is easy. easy. Um. Yeah, medic's a pretty good solo class, I'd say. Gotcha. Oh man, this brings me back. I'd play online with my friends sometimes. Well, I, mean, I still do, but we would find the party room. I don't know. I forget where it is. I can never find it ever. It's uh, it's over here somewhere, I think. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> we would we would hold out in here. I'd be in the back here with an RPG because I used to main demolitionist, uh, and my friends would be over there. And then a scrake would come by, and we'd all, like, one of us would die, and the rest of us would panic and run. <laughs> we'd just run as fast as we could. Ah, we have our consoles, so we have potato name. Be great. Oh yeah, it'd be great if you could weld those doors. That was a common complaint of ours when we camp in there. We also camp in that room we just passed with the Zeds banging on the ways. That was fun. It'd be great if we could do it now. We're all level 25 on the best perks, like I'm level 25 field medic, obviously, and Taco level 25 demolitionist. Great if I could find another gun too. Dunk. Set down. Literally invisible. This look like a a group like dissection class. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how comfortable the like feel if it was on humans. It's like who was the first person to do that stuff. I think it was during the Renaissance people first started doing that, but it was still frowned upon. Da Vinci learning how to do uh, anatomy and stuff. Even lectures. Drawing hard about it. Or, I guess not draw hard. I guess you can uh, paint it, but yeah, sketch is drawn, so. My point still stands. Just like being in a box hole. And I'm gonna have to run around forever trying to find a traitor, because... <laughs> there it is. Because this map is confusing me. 
All the tight corners maps are confusing to me. The easiest maps are like Burning Paris and Outpost and Nuked are the three easiest maps. With Hostile Grounds as a maybe fourth place. Is that a blow? Are you kidding me? full health for like well over 45 seconds yeah the stench oh they got blood on the cake it's got to be the worst birthday ever like <laughs> I feel kind of bad for these people no they don't they aren't real you know it's just man that would suck like, like a lot it's, it's your birthday you die I feel like a bad person talking about it, even though it's clearly an event that never happened. It's a video game. Hurry up. Zeds are getting closer. I can find a gun or an ammo box. Come on, it's only on hard. They should be still spawning at a Break okay time's rate. Over. Get back to work. More Zeds inbound. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, you basically have crowded hallways where you don't want to be in the middle of a game, and then you have uh, these hubs, I guess you'd call them. Hurry, 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 hurry! Oh, I'm worried about Game Floor 2. In its early days, like, when, well, I got it on the, what, the first free weekend they got, or I don't know, maybe that was the only free weekend. I'm not sure. Uh, what? I didn't say anything. I don't know who you're talking about. Shit. Oh yeah, I was worried about it in the early days because it didn't really have a lot of substance. Like, of course they didn't have all these cool cosmetics. You just had versus survival, which is eh, eh. Never any fun running and just dying immediately. Got rid of that on the daily things like damage people as load in versus. I haven't seen it in a long time. Of course, I'm not on every day. <laughs> but you know. That's nearly all of them. Poisoned you. Great how the, Come see me. the demolitionist nice and done. the commando are best friends, and the medic and the berserker are best friends. Are you kidding again? I've been at full health for how long, lady? Are you kidding? <sighs> I guess this isn't aesthetically I pleasing. Still have no idea. Buy some armor. I need you alive and in one piece. Here we go. Time to kill everything. It's gonna suck when it's in like the middle of a wave and I just run into a window. <laughs> or even worse, during the boss, it's the patriarch and he just shoots me to death. He guns me down. <laughs> what about this? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Last chance. Honestly, I have no I idea. Have to power down the pod. Unlike other maps, I have no idea where I want to start the wave at. I just I guess here is a good spot. All Zed's on the scope. Back you have a bit of time to react when they come for you. I'm gonna take this seat right here. There's no blood on it. Watch out! Something is cloaked. Never mind. Oh yeah, that's a good trick. I mean, I've never heard anyone bring this one up, but if you think you see a uh, stalker in your medic. Shoot a healing dart at it, it'll poison them, and then you can see them while they're 
like at least for a little while while they're poisoned and then you can shoot them. It's kind of nice. It's actually no, it's really nice actually. Let's see if I can find one. Damage. Come on, it's gotta be at least. Yeah. Just stun a slasher. I just call, call these guys all bots. Like it's like oh, there's a during the middle of the game, like, just call him a clot. Everybody knows what they're talking about. Call assist, assist, though, because it's like, oh, oh, it's assist. Perfect. Pod is open again. But yeah, I'll try to demonstrate Let's get you the medic gun trick. You're staying in one piece. That's great. Keep it up. You like being chewed into pieces? Buy armor. No, I'm not gonna buy your armor. See, I haven't been to that room yet where the, in this game, where it's, uh, all frozen and whatnot. Oh, no, there's, what's it called? Mist or whatever, flying around. It's right here somewhere, I know it. It's not here, but, you know. Nah. Hurry up. Zeds are getting closer. Find it eventually. Here it is. If you look closely, it's like the patriarch container or Go whatever. Kill some Zeds. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hello. Did I get him? I got him. This is why I love the medic so much. Just never in a panic. Your syringe just recharges so fast. Completely fine. Not Plunder nature. Where's this? Come again. Yeah. Oh, Demonstrate it. Yeah, you all know what I'm talking about, right? There it is. Here, look. Let's say you're like, oh, I don't know where she is. See, you poison them, and then you just shoot them because you can see them now. And now we run from the siren. Slow, but they do deceptively large amounts of damage. have stopped sweating ever since now I started no, playing medic. This the hell? Is I suggest you purchase armor. I suggest you oh, shut up. AR-15 varmint rifle. Now I can reliably kill the increasing less amounts of trash zits. Imagine Hans over here, like giving a lecture on like. Last chance. And now I have you pull out the, pod. the lever. Uh, uh, I don't know. Just. It's like yeah. So it's on this the one right here. Back to it, it's the ones that's dark red. <laughs> you can tell. Just in case you ever need to know, it's this one. I mean, I guess before him and the Patriarch, what's his name? Whatever the Patriarch's real name is, I forget. Before they went, uh, I don't know, psychotic? Insane? Versus Greg? Hello. 
Well, it's probably about time. Postpone Scrake killing time and just shoot anything that's in front of us wildly. Okay, we're okay. We lived. Where's the flesh band? Why always the chase? It's worrying me. Where is the flesh band? Is he enraged? Is he chasing me? Hey, there he is. Hello. I guess we'll go somewhere where we won't be bothered. We can have that big fight. Ah! Oh, my. I'm running away now. Look out! Exiting the premises now. There's this Greg. <laughs> Seriously, closing doors behind you. Like, if you're on a team, don't do it. But if you're on solo, it's a lifesaver. Sometimes. Depending on the situation. Sometimes you're already dead, and you just don't know it yet. But, you know, sometimes, okay, you can live. Hit me. It's like what? How do you feel, scum? Who else is left? It's are you kidding? <sighs> Actually, you still have. Last one. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. It's in the same spot again. You really shredded that flesh band back there. Impressive. Mankind should not plunder nature. Eh. It's only on hard. I'll be fine. Okay, let's go back to maps. Like. Outpost is easily the best because it has the least amounts of, like, surprise corners. Uh, there's huge sight lines. Great for all classes and, like, except for, like, uh, Firebug, I guess. <laughs> and maybe support, but, eh, whatever. It's still great for everybody. Time's almost up. Uh, I don't know, it's light in most of the areas. You don't really need the flashlight. Unlike Black Forest, that's what it's called, right? Go Black make Forest. A and Catacombs. <laughs> God, I hate those maps. Sorry, I mean, I have an extreme aversion to those maps. And then, Burning Paris is just, it's really easy to get into. It's not hard to learn. And it's, it's got a bit of a variety, so it's fun. <laughs> it, it's uh, one of my favorite maps. Easily. We got nuked, which at first I thought was just crazy. I mean, there's it's like the, I mean, it, it, it's really unrealistic, like nuclear weapons going off at that range. Like you'd probably be dead. But I don't know. Maybe you could pretend that it was like an old. A bomb or something. Yeah. Uh, maybe. But I think that map's really funny because it's just an absurd situation. You Look could out. even loosely tie it to current events, you know. Uh. At least very loosely. Like, uh, basically, you know how it's. If you look closely, uh, I guess you're fighting in like an embassy area or something got the, uh, 
the nation of Texas embassy. And you should look at, you should take a time in between rounds to look at the seal because it's pretty funny. It's just stereotypical Texan. Come on. Rage, please. No, it's fine too. Nah, just die, by the way. Oh, it's just yeah. okay. And Hostile Grounds is nice because it's big. It's also open. It's really good for endless. Just stay on the ground or er, street level, except in between rounds. Because down in the subways and the sewers, it's, uh, it's all tight corners that we don't like. Glad to see you made it through. If you know what's good for you. For the pod and gear We're not saying that you should like never play maps with the tight corners, but I don't know. If you're having tr trouble with like a weekly or something, go play on the maps, the aforementioned maps. I don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, it with good class, obviously, but you know what I mean. Glad you made it back. Don't bleed on I anything. Yes, I have everything I want. No, that's a lie. Yeah. Probably never gonna use them, but these are the greatest backup weapons. Unless you have, I mean, if you're pressed for weight and money, these are the best backup weapons. Last I mean, chance. <laughs> I have to power this is pod. like the beggars can't be choosers of backup weapons. But I do refer to these as the pistols of truth because depending on what uh, time's over. Get back to work. full reload Ball animation, I guess inspect weapon animation, like I set up like a, this is, this one is yes, is and, come again? I don't know, it's yes again, but <laughs> there's one of them that's no. And then one of them is like undecided. It's like the eight ball of guns, I guess. I don't know. But it only works with the dual pistols. It's always right. As long as you don't ask pressing questions like, Am I gonna die in two seconds? Oh, it said yes. Oh, I guess it's wrong. You know, just like. It's like, Am I gonna get stuck in a corner this match? Uh, I don't know or no. Like. Am I gonna be able to find all the collectibles in this man? Or something? But stuff, just dumb, random questions. If you're bored in between waves, that's the pistols of truth. I never ask ridiculous questions. They might not work for you guys, no clue. But I'm just. to them as the pistols of truth because they always tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, I guess the only real major flaws with Killing Floor 2 were like Zed pathfinding or just their really erratic movement like where they just jump randomly or jump really far to get over an obstacle or something. Watch this. I'm not sure if you're ready for this shit. Just close the door. You have an extra second to prepare. To prepare your weapons for onslaught. Are you still enraged? There are two of them. Yeah, there are two of them. Uh, uh. Oh, I didn't even pick up that ammo. Away from my ammo. Nice, Greg. I think I dodged it. I'm safe to say I dodged the husk shot. Oh, and versus survival is the other glaring feature. But hey, Tripwire knows what the fans want, and they just added a ton of customization options, like with the addition of Vault, Dosh, or whatever. That was great. Whoever came up with that idea is a genius. Now you can get cosmetics for free. Get to the indicated oh, and they added in this mode, which is awesome. <laughs> and the summer this update's Greg coming out on easy, Monday. But you did it well. So that'll be fun. Can't wait for that. Except I won't be here on Monday, so 
<laughs> I won't be playing this game on Monday. I'll be at school, and then, well, that's personal, but, you know, just with other family members. Yeah, I can't really take my PS4 with me everywhere now, can I? Right, I could, but I can't fit that in my school backpack. It'd be really heavy. <laughs> This will be easy. I'm about to shut the pod. Oh, come on. Why does the traitor bitch always cut me off when I'm saying something? I've never heard that verse voice line before. I've actually never heard that voice it's line the before. Area she secure. just fucking cuts me off. <sighs> oh, yeah. She constantly tells me to buy armor, and it's annoying. It's hell. Like, on normal, it's especially annoying. Like, you really don't need armor until, like... I don't know, wave seven? Now you might not need it at all, but you know. I just take it anyway. I'm lazy. Like being in better to buy. I'm just rolling in money at that point, because it's normal and late game, so. Stop. Go away. If I were demolitionist, that entire hallway would be dead right now. They'd all be in peace. Same if I were a bunch of guys, who cares? Yeah, that, I think I see one. Oh, yep, see what I mean? Where's the strike? I hear him. I, I hear him, he's right there! Or maybe there are two of them. Yeah, there are probably two. Oh boy. Ah, uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Sorry, zone, but I have better shit to do. Or more self-preservation type shit to do. Oh, oh, he's dead. I'm stuck. I go out of my way. Closed. Yeah. Oh, if it's personal, why are you saying? Ah, uh, because I don't really care. It's not a big deal to me. Uh, if you don't know what I'm referring to, just remember what I'm saying earlier. I'm away. I'm away. I hate this. I'm just trying to reload, guys. Close. Ah! Ah! Yeah, sometimes you just have to shoot them a bunch of times. Out your anger. Dunk. Wait, I can I can do this. <laughs> I can't. No, no, this is Eva. Boom. I'm a thrifty person. <laughs> I have salvaged that. I'm just gonna make sure not to shoot the other scrape. Stay dead, Watson. What's in the back? Is that another scrape? Ah, for fuck's sake. That's two scrapes. Solo is easy. A solid Shit, I ran out of flashlight. That's why. I didn't even notice. Bring up the trading controls and upgrade your gear. Eh. I will use the flashlight as much as I want in game. It's kind of a strange mechanic. It's like when you first jump into Killing Floor 2, you think it's like a survival horror game or something. But in reality, it's more like an arcade survival horror game. And But... The flashlight kind of gives, it gave me the wrong impression. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. Like, I still have no idea what this all does. What? <laughs> it's only assist, what's it gonna Hurry do? Up. Zeds are getting closer. Yeah, you guys are gonna be part of that assist only wave on Endless, and I'm gonna kill you all with my knife. It's a personal rule of mine over. on cyst only Back waves, unless you have you're like really pressed for cash and it's like a stand your ground thing. Use the knife only, or else you're scrub. Where is he? I don't see him. Let's kill him now. Basically becomes 
a machine gun if you get the extended mags. I mean, if you've never played another FPS game before and you just can't handle weapon spread, then, or recoil rather, then you're kinda screwed, but it's pretty good otherwise. You can do pretty good with this thing. There's you. Really? Ah. Look bad Pistols of Truth, we also use this reverse psychology, like we like to think happy thoughts only, as in order to delay the spawning of Scrakes and Flesh Pounds. Just dumb traditions like that. And we also, like, when we're on Endless and the Patriarch is the traitor, the voice of the traitor, we're always like, Oh dude, no! We've, we're ha we've had so much trouble with the Abomination every five rounds, dude, we, yeah, we were totally like, one health, like, like Taco was at ten health. I mean, I I was about to die, man. If, if Taco hadn't come in, we, we got lucky, you know. We we got really lucky. It'd be, I think the Patriarch, uh, if you're listening, it uh, Time's we up. just got lucky. Go I think the Abomination would get us again if he had another chance at it. It's your boy, Hans. Still alive? Are you kidding? Bravo. I would shake your hands, but I shall just visit you instead. Come out, come out, little pigs! No, you. Oh yeah, and, on, and uh, I make hands on stress to wear the Hans plushy backpack. Because they're kind of our rivals or whatever. Come on. I think I heard him at one point call the like my carbines don't kill you. They are STGs. They're not carbines. STG. Oh, he broke the doors. Oh, I didn't notice that. Come on. I he can definitely kill a shield. GG. Solo is easy. Solo is easy. Yeah, we're basically both just bullet sponges. <laughs> I guess I technically have more health than he does if I'm actually getting him. No! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> That's why the Berserker is so useful. The clots can't grab you. <laughs> I got lucky there. I mean, it's not like I would have lost the game, obviously. Uh-oh. Ah, you bitch! Gotcha. He's 
gonna grenade barrage just now, isn't he? Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> gotcha. And looks like uh, Anton Strash finally gets his revenge. Easy.